Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, a little update for you people that are uh, switching over to solar that I think uh, you need to know about. This post was in Natural News. I'll go and read from that in a minute. Link to it will be below. Uh, before that, I'll address the flag being upside down. Um, I love my country and my flag, but the reality is, is that that flag now represents hate, evil, lies, destruction to the rest of the planet Earth. And this country is upside down from its original core values. I still stand behind my country. But until you and me and him and her get off our sheep-like asses and do something about this two-party fallacy that makes you think you have a choice and that your will in this country will be done until we get off our asses and put this country back upright. As far as I'm concerned, this flag will fly upside down. I hope this isn't seen by our veterans as disrespect because I have very much respect for you. That's why I'm fighting to get the Obama flag banished and that's why this hangs behind me. Um, so don't get it twisted, you trolls, or anyone else that might on face value think, well, he's not respecting what I did to serve that flag. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I hope you see it that way. Anyway, I want to get to this uh, because many of you are relying on solar or getting ready to switch to solar, and this is concerning that your solar may not do you any good at all when the grid goes down. Uh, Headline naturalnews.com, reality check when the power grid goes down, all grid tie solar systems will go down with it. A lot of people believe they are becoming power independent by installing grid tie solar system, but what many don't realize is that virtually all such systems are designed to actively go offline when the power grid goes offline. A grid tie solar system is one that ties to the power grid pulling electricity from the grid when needed, then pushing excess electricity back into the grid when the local customer isn't using full capacity being generated by the PV panels. As long as the grid stays up, it's a clever solution because it reduces or even eliminates the customer's electric bills while generating clean energy. And, and I know a lot of people in this country, I'm going to stop there, I'll link, you can read the rest of the information. I just want you to get the overview and realize that this is here and you go do it. Um, I know a lot of people like that, you know, there people were reporting getting money back from their power company and that's great, especially when times are hard. And I know, I can't attest to all states, but I know in states that I have been in, uh, northern New England, um, and such, if you put up a solar system or any type of independent power system, you are required by law to tie to the grid and give back what you don't use. It's law. You can generate it, but you can't keep it. You can't, okay? So we're at this point that if you're going to rely on solar, you're going to have to break the law or it will, it'll be useless. You're trying to prepare. You're not trying to make money off installing solar panels. You're trying to live cheaper, and you're trying to prepare for when that power grid doesn't work. And if you have one of these systems, you need to do some research and break that tie. You need to make that solar power independent. Now, um, what I would do is hook up my solar uh, device knowing it's capability on an independent system in my house to run the things that I want it to run and use the power grid only for the things that uh, maybe the solar panels will light your entire house but they won't run the refrigerator so light your entire house independently with the solar panels maybe you'll have to wire it separately but I, I would recommend people that are able to start rewiring their house keep it modern and then do some simple rewiring for low voltage and LED lights and other things that aren't going to consume a lot of power. And that will take you some research. I'm not here to give you all the answers, but I wanted to give you the heads up about this. Um, something you probably didn't consider. If you got solar panels and maybe you're even getting a little check from that every month and, and you're happy with it, you need to disconnect. You're going to need to forget that check. You're going to have to break the law 
or you're going to have to bah that's where we are that's where they have us I'm sorry but that's where you are you either break the law and return to being a human being that has rights in, in a law bound on their heart don't need to pay a fee for or a tax on or you get in line with the sheep take your bowl of gruel and your one wool blanket and your chain link fence anyway that's that flag is upside down the country's upside down and solar power is, is just that was a lie too anyway much love, many thanks, see you soon.